Welcome to In The News with Double O Des. I'm Des Bernardo, giving you my perspective on news from South Africa and the rest of the world. In the news now, I bring you a story from the Gauteng Health Department and them actually explaining their comment about the 1 million grave sites that they are actually preparing ahead of the COVID-19 spike. Now, when you say things like that to the public, what do you expect them to think? You know, and these politicians need to start thinking about what they say and what effects that would actually have. So now they're trying to explain themselves and maybe they should have done that from the beginning. The Gauteng Health MEC, Dr. Bandile Masuku, said more than one and a half million grave sites were being prepared in the province. The Gauteng Department of Health has since said the number refers to the collective capacity all municipalities in the province can take. Now, why don't they say that? When you say that, then you are saying something very specific and meticulous. When you say that we're preparing one and a half million grave sites uh, in light of COVID-19, what you are making the people think is that one and a half million people are expected to die in Gauteng alone from COVID-19. Now, the two messages are very, very different. I continue, Masuku visited the cemetery north of Pretoria to oversee the state of readiness of cemeteries if needed during the coronavirus pandemic, if needed. The Gauteng Department of Health has moved to explain Health MEC Dr. Bandili Masuku's comments on over one and a half million grave sites being prepared. On Wednesday, Masuku said more than one and a half million grave sites were being prepared. His remarks were made as COVID-19 cases in Gauteng have been increasing sharply. On Thursday, in a statement, the department said it wanted to clarify the confusion about the number of graves dug for expected COVID-19 deaths. And I quote, The province does not have over a million already open dug graves. The over a million graves refers to the collective capacity municipalities can take. Close quote. The statement read. News 24 previously reported that Masuku visited the Yenung Nest Kran Cemetery, north of Pretoria, on Wednesday to assess the state of readiness should the burial site be needed. The Yenung Nest Kran Cemetery has space for 24,000 single graves on the 30 hectare plot of land. I quote, The GDOH is the Gauteng Department of Health is continuing to improve and increase both the infrastructure and human resource capacity of the health system to deal with the increasing pressure from the COVID-19 pandemic, close quote. The statement read, the quote continues, we understand that the subject of death is an uncomfortable matter to engage in, however, ensuring that there is adequate burial space in the province, unfortunately forms part of the reality government must contend with in the battle against COVID-19. And then they say that this is a developing story and normally I'll put uh, the link to this article in the comments, uh, not in the comments, in the description below the video. And you can give your comments on how you feel about the fact that our government is saying things like we're preparing uh, one and a half million sites because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And the fact that they are not being clear as they are now stating that it is overall sites that are being prepared. It's not open sites that have been dug. And it's important that people are meticulous and give proper clarity when they actually speak about things. And we can hold government officials to account with regards to that. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon so you can get notifications on future videos. I thank you very much.